What is happening, my parries? What is happening, y'all? Blessed Thursday morning from my Jamaican kitchen to wherever you are. I mean, I have no market all. Too much drought. The things, they are not pretty. They're not cute. They're not nice. They're not, not, not all. They are expensive. The drought is on. I'm not sure when I can do an, another market all for you, but I'm going to try. But all those nice, fresh, pretty things where you see Debbie Ali is put out, not there anymore. What I have for you today, though, is this little video that I promised you, showing you how to store your scallions. Okay? And this is like probably another number, uh, another in our kitchen top. We're using it as a kitchen top because it's something to do with the kitchen actually showing you to do something. So when we go, I went ahead and got me some scallions. And you can see they're kind of fresh, but not so because these are scallions that came in this morning from in the country. You can see, I hope you can see, camera girl, you can zoom in on this. The, the point of the scallions, you see, where they burn, it's the, it's, it's the, um, the jaw that is on them. But nevertheless, now I want to demonstrate to you a small amount of this and how to clean your scallions, to freeze your scallions. So what you want to do, you want to get your ziplock. And, and as much as you want to buy, you can buy as much ziplock as you want, you can get. So I'm just demonstrating a short amount. You want, what you want to do first, you want to clean your scallions. Some people cut off the ola up here. So you don't want to basically just cut right here. Okay? And you're going to remove all of this strip. This outer strip here. This one here. Just this. You don't have to waste the scallions. This is what you want to get rid of. The outer strip, what was down in the earth. Remember, the scallions grow in the earth, right? So this is mostly what you want. This is good, right? So these are what you definitely want. Plus it. So when you finish, and you're going to nip off the point, you know? As much as you can so you want each stalk of your scallion looking like this this is good in the, 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 the part that grows in the dirt is off and everything you want to make sure say you have all of these stalks and this is in good condition now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead now and do some more for your come back show you how you for wash them and how you proceed before you start before you leave them for freeze okay okay now my parents I've just done a small amount to show you. I'm going to do all of these. But you know, in the interest of the video, I saw all of these. So you have it like this. All the whites up. This is like a little extra. Remember, you know, now we are your skelly and then. So you want to have it like this. You want to go now to your sink. My water pressure is low. For whatever the reason, I don't know. So you want to have it. When you do a certain amount, you want to try to wash it. Come on, girl. You get, you, you get what you mean? So your water pressure will be higher. Not warm water though, you know, cold water. So you want to do it like this. Remember this start, then the all about people are wall wall them and all of that. So you want to, because up here is clean, like I remember we used, we removed the outer skin. Okay, that was in the dirt. So that's no problem. We're going to focus now on the, the down here, the green part. So you want to have, because your top water will be at more um, a heavier um, um, thing at me. More than mine, more flow. So you want to wash it. You want to have it stock by stock. Now after that, you want to have right here clean. And you want to have your clean. Some people would want to try to use like um, anchovy. But I prefer to use a nice kitchen cloth. One that is thick and can absorb moisture. So you lay it. You know you have it the length of your skeleton. And you wash your skeleton. Do it, please do it stock by stock. Stock by stock. That way you ensure that there is no additional dirt. And all of that. Okay, so you have it like this. So maybe I'll go finish, wash off all of mine and come back in. Yeah? Okay, now all is all washed. So we're going to, so I say use the towel. If you want to use the hand towel, because you know, if you have good brand hand towel, but you know, if you want to make like a cheap one, because I don't know it's a Jamaica thing, but I don't know it goes so for it thing going on. That we have to live within the means, not true. But you know, like you have those, you know, the better brands, you can use them that are so, you know, absorbent and all of that. So you want to turn them from side to side because the whole idea here is to get the skeletons all dry. You know, want to put no wet skeleton in the ziplock and you must have your ziplock all dried and all of that. No hole, make sure there are no holes. Okay? So, let me go finish dry off the skeleton. You do it properly. Okay, now, family, all, all parries all tried and all of that. You want to set up everybody. What if you're doing a, a large amount and you have space? But remember, when you're doing a large amount, take the time out to wash it stock by stock individually. 
make sure when you do it that way it ensures that you don't have any dirt because sometimes they come with dirt depending on the whole you know production or all them growing all of that you, that you're making sure that it's clean now that you have it this way you want to give it a fold not bend it and crush it you know just slightly fold it fold it to the measurement of your ziplock okay now this is the size of mine so you're going come now we could probably do this a little more but you might have a, 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 a bigger ziplock you just fold it don't let it break you see bend it then or no fold is the correct word okay and you put it down in there you fit it ziplock dried scallions dry and you make sure you seal it and leave make sure all the excess here all of it you take it out hmm? This is a real one that I've been using and I don't have any new ones. I know the ones that yeah, you reuse them always I get trouble for seed. But it's a, just a demonstration. So me know I when you come in here, you please bring some ziplocks for me. Any of you who come into Jamaica and if you don't like me like that, please bring me a little ziplock. Can you do that for me? I'm just joking, y'all. Look at this thing got started. They be at the fan YouTube. I make ziplock. Who cares? Okay, so this is your, this is, this can hold some more, you know. This is your ready to freeze, clean, nice, fresh, green scallions. Now, this is one that I have that I had done. I did a few bags of these and if you were, you're on the Jamaican cooking journey, you'd have seen me use some. This, these were new bags. This is one that I had. And I did, come on, catch, come on, girl, can you catch this one for me? I did this. Go, it's all over three months now. I did a lot of them because I know the skeletons were it was coming to a point that the skeletons weren't gonna be fresh anymore and the price was gonna be so high. Now you make the comparison. And these can be kept until Christmas. Fresh, flavorful, everything just the same. So there you have it. I've done for you. I had promised. I did not promise, as a matter of fact, I said, if you wanted me and somebody, somebody said, baby, please remember to do the Skellion video. I hope this was of so much in, in, an, um, interest to you all. I know you all, you ladies, housewives and other that this must be of some use to you. Most good information. So remember, if you have liked it, remember to give me a thumbs up. Mm, no matter if somebody ever like it, still enough. And do it, and when they don't do it, they're going to thumbs me down. Doesn't matter. Who cares? So, remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to leave your comments below. Comment below upon this man. If you to me, tell me how you do yours and all of that and stuff. And it doesn't matter what we do right on over here. On the Jamaican David Epps train. Remember, never let the evil around you. Don't let it take control of you. Steer, Panta Patings.